I don't think I have been this excited to film a haul video in a long time. I used a little birthday gift card that I got to Ulta and the kids went to bed at seven and I was like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and browse. Cause I had a few things that I needed to pick up anyway. So it was really fun shopping while the kids were in bed. I got a lot of goodies and I decided not to get some of the regular items that I usually get and a few different items and I'm excited to see how I like it. Let's start with eyebrow products. I thought it was so funny. I read a comment um, a while ago and it was like, her eyebrows though, I kind of have some scary eyebrows. They don't grow. Um, they grow thick right here and then halfway they slant down like it's like they don't have a nice arch. It, the arch sinks down and then I have a few hairs. So I don't have very good eyebrows to begin with. Um, so if I even don't, if I don't do anything to them, um, people definitely notice. But I usually get the Anastasia eyebrow products, but instead I looked at a ton of eyebrow products at Ulta. But instead I got the NYX uh, Sculpt Highlight and Brow Contour um, eyebrow pencil. And then I love the Anastasia clear eyebrow gel because it holds all day. But I got the NYX um, Control Freak eyebrow gel. Next up, I was gonna get the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. That's what I've been using for a while. And instead, I got the NYX Dewy Finish um, Setting Spray. I have heard good things about this. I haven't always purchased setting sprays. I don't feel like I need it, but I have noticed a difference when I do. I feel like my makeup just like, it just blends everything and it just looks better. So I am excited to try that. I got quite a few things from NYX. I don't know where I've been. I've purchased a thing or two from them before, but I, I walked up and down the aisles and I just kept being attracted to the NYX. So I got another NYX nude lip liner. I've purchased this before. It's always good to have a nude lip liner, so I got that. And then there were some girls there that I was talking to and she says she loves the uh, NYX lingerie line of it. Um, and then on Twitter, somebody said they didn't like this line. So I'm anxious to try this to see what I think of the formula. And this is too good to not try on right now. These are ombre NYX duos, where it has a darker shade that you outline your lip with and then a lighter shade that you do on the inner part. They look awesome. I have like four or five of these in my hand and I had to decide which two I was gonna get. I could not get too many of them, but I really was excited to try these. Do you guys remember that Bite lipstick that I was really loving a few months ago? It had, a, it was kind of like this where it had a lighter shade and a darker shade. And this, it looks like it would be creamy. I just have some, like a lip stain from earlier on, but it is so creamy. This is really interesting. I really like, I had a really crappy lipstick on today, so my lips are kind of like rough, like anyway, but I think this is really creamy and I'm really excited to try out the fun color. A lot of people have tweeted me and they wanted me to test out the Revolution at Ulta. I guess this is a new line, at least it's new to me. And this is a matte blush and what drew me to this was it looks a lot like my favorite blush from MAC and it's called Blush All Day. And it's the kind of blush that you can wear with a red lip, a nude lip, a bright pink lip, a purple lip. You can wear it in the winter, the summer, it's just, a blush that you can wear all of the time. This is so soft. This is my first time feeling it. This is very soft. And then I have that MAC blush. It's pretty much empty, that MAC blush, but I haven't purchased it. It is a bit different. The MAC blush is a little bit more. It is different, but it, it is, I think, in the same, same little group. So I'm anxious to see how I like this blush. That is very soft. I am in need of a new concealer, and the last time that I got the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I got the shade Light, and there is Fair, and then there's Light, and Fair has more of a pink undertone, whereas Light is more neutral yellow undertone, so this looked a little bit brighter in the tube, which I think I will like better than the other shade that I got, but I've had this concealer before and I've really liked it, so definitely needed one, so I picked this up. I got one last lip color and this is from Revlon. I really enjoy Revlon lipsticks. I have I've purchased a lot of them in the past. This is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. I'm not gonna lie, I tested this one out in the store because they had already had one that was open and you could tell that somebody like opened it and went crazy on it. So I put some on my hand and I was 
pretty blown away. This is the Almay Smart Shade CC Cream in the shade Light. I put it on my hand and it was just very smooth. It did smell a lot like sunscreen, but I think most CC creams, BB creams, whatever their creams are that you can get out there usually do smell like SPF. This is SPF of 35, but it just felt really smooth on my hand and it blended in very well. I have the uh, it Cosmetics CC cream that, I, that I've really enjoyed and I'm really, really anxious to try this one out and to compare the two. The last makeup item I got is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. I've heard Jaclyn Hill talk about this and I got the shade uh, W2, so I'm really anxious to see the shade and how it works um, on me. But there's like a little sticker, it's like a sponge applicator. I'll probably use just my brush, I'll dip it in, but it does, it, it seems pretty lightweight. So I'm pretty excited to try this as well. And the very last thing I got, if there was a Lush store down my street, I would just go there all the time. But I saw that they had some Fizz Bubble um, bunch of little Lush bombs in this little cup. So I got this. This is the coconut cream. They had a bunch of different like scents, bubblegum, birthday cake. But this one seemed pretty just fresh and clean to me. I love baths. I take a bath almost every day. I love baths. I think they are just, it's just nice like when the kids go to bed to just unwind and not think about anything and just like take a bubble bath. So I'm really excited to try these. There's quite a few in there. So this will last me probably a week. I am so excited for tomorrow to put all of this new makeup on. I have a babysitter for a few hours, so me and my husband are gonna go on a date and I get to put some new makeup on. Um, all of this makeup, if I like it or if I dislike it, maybe I'll do like a first impressions video. I'll be doing some more videos with this and as well, I'll have like the colors, the swatches, the prices listed down below if you guys wanna check any of these out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.